And we're back, you guys. So let us continue. The last time we were beating up a lot of hops in this cave. And hopefully we're very close to the exit. Guess I don't like them. <laughs> I never have. They suck. <laughs> oh, look at this. Sure, Walter. Sure. Whatever you, you say. Ugh. How quiet it all is here. Almost like. Almost like whoa. Yep. Almost like that was going to happen. Alright, so this is a little difficult because the summoners are gonna always gonna be spawning uh, new enemies. So you gotta basically take care of them till the barrier go comes down, and then you really gotta get on those mages because otherwise this is just never gonna end. You gotta wait till it's down. Get away from me, you! Anybody else? Ugh, he just keeps popping up. Wow, they even cover themselves. Whoa, hello. Ah. Keep hitting them and they'll start running. Doi. Alright, now they're uncovered. No, you guys are asked for it. Ah. I think the progress thing that comes on the screen sometimes is about the weapon. Like if your weapon is upgrading and meeting the requirements to, to level up. There we go, I think I did it. Give up yet? No, there we go. <laughs> oh, we got uh, gonna go to the other dimension. Cause you know that's that's what we do. <laughs> You have overcome an important test. A good leader must always be ready to face the unknown, and to seek new paths. Your defeat of the creatures in this cave will be told throughout the land. Alrighty. So, let me look back and see if I'm missing something important. Just a bunch of crappy, 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 crap. I wish that those expression packs, you know, instead of giving them as upgrades using your hero points, which is kind of stupid, it'd be better if it was like you go around, interact with people, and the more you interact, you know, the more skills you get, you know? But it's, you know, it. The fact that you can just learn something by opening a chest and wasting hero points on that, I mean... Uh, it's such a bad idea. Like, I don't get how they thought this was... You know... And even die pack, I mean... Why not just, uh... Oh! Now, this is a little important. 
I want to be buying proper uh, businesses. Um, there's vortex spell. I don't. I'm not. I'm not gonna buy it. Oh, here it is. Dual willing. Yes. Now I'm Please gonna kick some ass with intrigue. this. <laughs> what I know. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, buying dyes for your hair or clothes or whatever, it should be on the store, not on the, you know, not on the upgrades. I mean, come on. I almost feel like this game was rushed. Like they, like they really wanted to get a Fable game out and rushed it. <laughs> I don't think you're going to find a way round this time. But I've got some magic of my own. Watch and learn. Boo! Really? Oh. It worked? Wow. Right, let's go. <laughs> Alrighty, let me uh Let me do something here. Yeah, 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 whatever. So as you can see now we can buy businesses, but businesses are really expensive, so we're gonna go for the most affordable ones. Now the beauty about businesses is that you don't need to fix them like you fix houses, you know? So, you know, repair. They just make your money and you don't need to repair. For a moment when I was playing on, on the first time in this game, um, I thought that by just buying businesses and forgetting about the, the houses was the smart thing to do. But honestly, uh, I just thought, you know, that I might as well just buy everything. And I did get the money a lot faster that way instead of just, you know, having all the businesses around the world. You know, it's not really enough because you gotta make millions. And yes, there's some background noise of dogs. What can you do? So just, just remember to adjust the prices to the highest. People are going to be a little pissed, but who gives a crap? <laughs> or maybe that's why someone hated me, uh, you know, the other time when, when all of a sudden said somebody hates you. I think it has had to do with this, with me uh, making stuff expensive. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. It kind of makes sense. I always keep these houses re as re best as repaired as possible, because if you let them deteriorate a little too much, uh, you know, repairing them is going to cost a lot of money. So your best bet is to um, to keep them repaired as close to 100 as possible. Here's a cheap business. I th I'd say that about halfway to the game I'm going to be making around... Uh, I don't know, like 50,000 to 100,000 every couple of minutes. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> so, let me get that dual wielding. Yeah, 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 I know. Shut up. By wearing a different gauntlet on each hand, you can unleash a devastating combination of powers each time you cast. Okay. So this is the one that I like. Those two do complement each other very well. Happy casting. Thank you. You. <laughs> there we go. It looks almost the same, but there's obviously uh, electricity around, and it shocks people, stunts them, and hits them at the same time, so it's really awesome.
To me, it's just the best combination. I try all of them, and it just seems like the best. Okay. Mostly the stuff you dig up, you just gonna have to sell it. Especially if it's summon potions, I mean... I wouldn't waste those if I were you, I'd just sell them. It's not like the summons really do much at all in this game. I mean, they might be a little helpful if you s manage to summon Balverines, but, you know... smell the sunlight. Isn't it wonderful? The damp, muggy, soggy sunlight. This is Morningwood, all right. I hope the people we're looking for are still alive. Why wouldn't they be? Because, come nightfall, it's one of the most dangerous places in Albion. Well, I don't know about dangerous, but I'm starting to get a rash, bloody swamp. We made a good team back in that cave, didn't we? It's been a while since I got stuck into a real fight. It was just like fighting by your father's side. I'd forgotten what it was like, standing next to a hero. You can explore this place later on, so don't worry about that. Just I'm just going to keep it going for the dialogue. Keep the microphone muted. Cause he's just gonna keep talking and talking. <laughs> we're almost there. That must be the place up ahead. One I wouldn't give for a boat, soup, and a hot bath. Hello, I've just learned yet another remarkable tidbit from the Book of Heroes. It seems that you have the power to upgrade not only your living weapons, but also any weapon you find. Come back to the Sanctuary, and I can show you how. Yeah, this is what I was talking about earlier, but this gun, uh, this, the upgrade of this gun is really, really helpful for what we're going to be doing now. Uh, this is the one that I have doesn't have much in, uh, any effect but if you check the you know the description you'll see it says kill a uh, certain amount of hollow man and you get the something blah 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 so let's just get this one and let's keep going cease your movement be you men or be you hollow men? Have you gone dark, boy? Open up the doors. Walter? Is that you? The very same. Now, are you going to let us in or what? Right. Yes, of course. Open the gate! Tell Major Swift, Walter's here! Welcome, Sir Walter. Sir. Oh, we've got all sorts we have. There he is. The one and only, Major Swift. Oh, <laughs> Walter! What the blazes are you doing here? We came looking for you. I have a proposition. You came all this way to proposition us. And I thought you were here to save us from the legions of the damned. Ben Finn, it's good to see you. I take it the legends about this place are true, then? I'll say. We've never seen so many hollow men in one place. We've been stationary here for weeks, trying to eradicate them. Mainly, it's us getting eradicated. We lost some good men last night, including Lieutenant Simmons here. And the buggers will be back tonight. Logan just loves to send you on the best assignments, doesn't he? That's part of what I wanted to talk to you about. Is this... Uh... Prince, yes. I'll explain. Just treat him like any other pair of hands for now. Fair enough. Captain Finn will show you to the mortar. We could use a, a body up there. Meet me on the wall when you're ready. I'll introduce you to Private Jammy. 
So cool because he's the luckiest sod in the fort. You'll probably be stuck by that mortar all night. Well, take a look around first. Talk to the men. It never hurts to know who's got your back. So basically you get close to Seems them right and they talk to you. By tomorrow morning we could all long time coming, Major. Long time. Coming. Each one says something different, but you know. I guess I'll do it, whatever. <laughs> These things aren't even moving. How am I gonna hit a hollow man? It's just as I'd hoped, Swift. Just as I'm sorry. I don't take requests. I only know two chords. If you stand there long enough, you can probably see me develop repetitive strain injury. With all the men we've lost, we're not exactly short on weapons. But this is what I do. We should have just what you need. Oh, you... I hope... Enjoy. I hope it brings you... I totally need those. I hope it brings you great happiness. Oh, oceans! Get your potions here! I've spent a week buried in the snow, but this place really gives me the chills, you know? My feet are killing me. I told you not to wear those boots. You're just jealous because they look so good on me. What are you talking about? They look just like mine. Yeah, on the outside. Oh, shut up and watch the door. No. Find better prices anywhere. Anyway, I think that's good enough for uh, for meeting everybody. And here we're gonna talk to this guy. Oh wait a second, there's gonna be like a I lot of ever used a mortar before. There's nothing to it. There's always a slight chance of maiming, of course, but um I'm sure you'll pick it up. First, I'd like you to meet Private Jammy. He'll be your loader. Pleasure to meet you. There's too much to say about me, you know. Jammy is soldier in Albion. Seven hundred and twenty-four wounds and still stand it. <laughs> Don't worry, you'll get used to him. After a while, he's hardly revolting at all. Right, Jamie, it's time to show him the ropes. Yes, sir. Right then. My life's going to be in your hands, so let's make sure you you know what you're doing, okay? Go on, grab the mortar, and we'll do some practice shots. All right, so I'll be doing this next time, and I'll see you guys then.